I used to have this client who I always presented my Enscape model to directly during our meetings. I'd fly them through every nook and cranny of the design just to really immerse them into the project and they absolutely loved it. But the one project that we decided to do remotely made it extremely challenging. It took me a minute to realize there was this magic button in Enscape that pushed everything to the cloud and let them experience it for themselves, which was an absolute game changer. Today, I wanna to talk about Chaos Cloud and how it can help you and your clients take projects to the absolute next level. If you stick around to the end, I'll make sure to share a sneaky Black Friday deal too. So stay tuned for that. Now, for obvious reasons, I can't show you the model that I shared with the client, but I can show you the vertical apartment example from Chaos themselves. If you simply come across the sample projects on the Chaos website and scroll down, you'll find the vertical apartments available in a number of different formats. I'm using the project PLN today and directly importing it into ARCHICAD. After that, as always, Enscape, start Enscape. We're running version 4.12.0.204 in this specific tutorial. So hopefully you're on the same version or later, depending on when you're watching this. Like I said in the intro, I used to be able to walk my clients through these projects frame by frame, piece by piece, and they could tell me where they wanted to stop, what they wanted to see, and we could zoom in on it for a little bit more detail. Now with my clients being away at overseas, yes, it was still possible through a Zoom and Teams meeting, but it just was a little bit lackluster. And of course, the time zone difference just made it really challenging to line up our timelines. So instead, I found the magic button up the top. And to be honest, I lied in the intro, there's two magic buttons that we can use. We have the web standalone magic button, and then we have the share scene magic button. Now, this is my favorite, but if you're looking for something quick, easy, the web standalone is the way to go. We'll talk about the Chaos Cloud share scene button first, and then we'll move back to the web standalone so we can talk about the differences. Once you simply click the button for share scene, it will load. You can adjust how you wish and then just go upload. Once it's uploaded to the cloud, it will automatically take you to the Cloud Chaos website for you to have a play. Navigation buttons are exactly the same as Enscape but they're extremely useful if you're sharing the project with a client. So for the first time they're opening up, they're gonna quickly learn how to move around and walk through their project, just like we used to one-on-one. -on -one. So we'll close that and let's move to the exterior of our scene. Now, the exterior is very much the same as what we just saw in Enscape, but you don't need a high-end rendering computer. You don't need any real desktop MacBook anything really to dumb it down you can run this on any web browser it's currently being run on safari not even chrome you can view it on your mobile phone you can view it on a tablet literally anywhere you are around the world you can have access to a cloud version of your project file and as you can see the quality is still incredible we have the ability to fly around just like we did before both indoors and outdoors the lighting and scene selection is all automatic so as your client flies through, looks outside, it will automatically adjust the exposure and then they'll turn around back inside to look at details. Once again, it'll automatically update that exposure. So you don't have to worry about your client having a good technical knowledge of rendering to be able to visualize and see everything that they're looking for. Now, obviously this 3D visualization won't be as good as a perfectly curated 2D animation lined up and presented perfectly, but it will give your clients an exceptional understanding of what they're actually getting. So in this scenario, you can easily fly up to the kitchen, see that the sink is undermount, see that all your cupboards will have handles. Based on the handles, you can understand that there is drawers on the right hand side, little cooktop over here, and generally a very basic apartment kitchen. If they wanted to change from fly to walk, it would drop them at a human scale. So now if they were walking, they'd bump into objects as well, which makes it a little bit easier to navigate through the scenes if you're not familiar with Enscape or even general video games with a W, A, S, and D key to walk around. Better yet, if the client wanted to collaborate with us, we don't even have to really be there talking to them. They can tell us via the comments feature. So for instance, let's drag this comment box over the art piece and go, can you add the image I emailed you and go create? Now, I've heard from my client, they'd like to see their artwork displayed here. I can reply to them, yes, absolutely, when it's done, and then they can view an updated model. If they wanted to take a screenshot, 
in this scene to view offline and share with their friends or just discuss later in person, they can simply just come down to the bottom, hit capture, and it'll take a screenshot from our live web viewer, regardless of what platform you're on again. Once it's done, it'll give you a notification in the bottom right hand corner, screenshot captured, and you can view the file. If you're looking for it, it's right down the bottom here. So we just simply click on that screenshot, it'll automatically jump to that view, and it'll take that screenshot basically as a real time render. All the quality will be enhanced to the absolute maximum, which is amazing for us as architects providing a service to our clients. And it's amazing for our clients because they get to see everything in high resolution. Now, let's just jump back to our vertical apartments. And as you can see, the quality isn't as crisp as that screenshot because we're viewing everything live. Now, if you've ever run a virtual tour in the past, you'd be probably seeing something like these viewpoints and dots on your plan. Those dots are intrusive and get in the way of actually seeing what you wanna see. Whereas these jumping points are great, but again, they only give you set locations with a virtual tour. With a full 3D fly through, you can literally go anywhere you like. Go back, take a look at those chairs in detail, rather than not being able to see the other side of this chair, for instance. Now, on the other hand, with the Chaos Cloud streaming service, we have time of day. We can also completely manipulate the time of day or night to see how the sun travels through our project, or the client can do it themselves, obviously, as well. So each of these things, you wouldn't be able to do it with a virtual tour. This is just the absolute next level up without having to have any more software, any more features. It's all built in to Enscape for us. Now, before we move on to the web standalone platform, there's one more thing I want to share with the screenshot. Once your clients have come into this beautiful high definition screenshot, let's be honest, render, we can come across to edit and use the AI upscaler beta tool. So we can go 2x or 4x to significantly increase the quality of this image. Let's go 4x and we'll just hit the blue button to let it start upscaling. Again, this will take a couple of minutes depending on your internet connection, depending on how many people are using the service. So we'll let that run in the background. Once the upscaling is complete, it will replace the original image. You can click up top where it says V2 and just go compare versions. So on the left hand side is our original image. On the right hand side is our upscaled version. The biggest point of difference for me is this table in the background. So you can see green blurry, whereas when we pull across the upscale version, it's nice and crisp and in focus. So for a couple of seconds, it took to upscale significantly better than trying to export an 8K version of this file, for instance. Now, for argument's sake, let's say we, our client didn't need all those extra features. They just needed the most basic version to fly through, have a look, and then we could discuss with them later in a phone call. Instead of going to the share scene, we just go to the web standalone button. Hit the button and it will automatically upload it to the cloud. This is what your client would see instead. It's a very simple toned down version of what we just discussed. Instead of all the extra features, bits and bobs, it's literally just a fly through model. And as you can see, I went to try using the SUASD keys. Instead, in the fly through model, you're using the up and down arrows. Again, a little bit more user friendly for the people who have never used Enscape for or any gaming software. The doors stay open so they can easily fly through them and they can just toggle walk mode or fly mode. In scenarios, I do prefer the web standalone version a little bit more than the full cloud version because the lighting is a lot more consistent. It doesn't adjust the exposure automatically. It just kind of makes everything look flat, but in a good way. Similarly, we can just walk around look up the stairs, climb up the stairs with a few little bumps, have a sneak peek at what's going on in this study, and you know, explore our model in great detail. Now, like I said, this is all running on Safari, and you can run it on your phone, your iPad, any computer, doesn't matter how old, it can even be your mum's Dell from 1999, and it would maybe still work. But you'd have to see with that one, that one's a bit old. But realistically, it should work as long as it has any current browser platform available to it. Anyway, that's all for me, team. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below. And while you're there, check out the description for 20% off Chaos products for Black Friday. If you have any comments, questions, leave them in the comments down below. But like always, I'll see you next week.